Hello, I'm Mr. Russett. I'm Zed Gabbaya. And I'm Malachi. And you might have noticed we've, we've dropped the science from the, the let's do, but that's because we're, we're just going to be let's do from now on, and we're going to do lots of things uh, not just science based. And so we're going to have a look at some things that we're going to do some videos on to start with uh, under the title of fun. Yeah. So we're going to have some fun. Yeah. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make okay. some fossil food. <laughs> Fossil cookies, yeah, tell them. Fossil cookies. All right. Now, what's the first really important thing we do if we're in the kitchen? Wash our hands. Wash our hands. So we've already washed our hands. How long did we wash our hands for? 20 seconds twice. No, 20 no. seconds once. What did yeah. we sing twice? The happy birthday. Happy birthday. There's a good chance to practice your hand washing skills first and foremost. And we make sure we didn't make a mess and if we splashed any water on the sides, we wipe the sides down because it's really important that we leave the kitchen clean. We don't want mummy telling us off, do we? No. No. And then the next thing we've done is we've followed our instructions for, from our recipe. And the first thing it says on the recipe is to preheat the oven. So we've got the oven on behind us so the oven's getting nice and hot to the right temperature. Now at any baking, if you're really good at baking, you do it a lot, you might not need a recipe, but we need a recipe. Yeah. So we've got a recipe. The recipe will, will appear on your screen. If you want to bake along with us, you could pause the, the video when the recipe's on your screen, go and get the bits you need, and then you could follow along with us. Yeah. If you don't want to do that, just watch what we're doing and maybe give it a go another time. And as we go, you'll, you'll see you could add extra things into this if you want. Um, but we're, we're just going to do some, some plain cookies because we've got a special feature we're going to add later on. So, Malachi, would you just pick up the ingredients list and would you read out to everybody what ingredients we need? Yes. 345 grams of plain flour, one teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda, half a teaspoon of baking powder, 225 grams of butter, and it has to be softened, 300 grams of caster sugar, and one egg, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Excellent, let's give that to Zechariah. Zechariah, could you just put that out of the way over that side? We don't need that anymore. Now we've got all of our ingredients, and most of them we've already pre-measured and weighed out, so that they're, they're ready to go. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the recipe, and I'll read the recipe out, and the yeah. boys are going to follow the recipe and see if they can make cookies without me even touching it. How about that? Yeah! Right, here we go. So here's our recipe. The first thing it said was to preheat the oven. We've already done that. Mm -hmm. So in a small bowl, we're going to stir together the flour, um, bicarbonate of soda, and baking powder. So Malachi's got a bowl. Bring it to the middle. Right, Zechariah, to your side, you've got some flour. Bring the flour out. Be right, give the, if you give the flour to Malachi, right, get the sieve. Get the sieve. It's over there. That's it. Right, you're going to hold the sieve. Zeki's Zeki, going to hold the sieve. Malachi, you're going to slowly put some flour into the sieve, a little bit at a time. Right, right in the middle. Cause that's it, right over there. We go. Right, bring it away now, Zeki. Gently tap it. That's it, like that. You see, you're doing that. And if we make a mess, we always have to tidy it up. See, it's going through. All right, Malachi, let's go put a bit more in. Let's get some more in this time. Right over the middle, Malachi. A bit more than that. A bit more. Right, and we'll start shaking it again. Can you do it? Sit. I'll help you. Sieve, sieve, sieve. <sighs> Sieving is messy. Right, it's gone a little bit on the worktop, but that's okay. Right, a bit more. Right, I'll tell you what, Malachi, I'll put a bit of flour in. Okay. While I'm doing this, can you, we need the bicarbonate of soda, and we need mm. one teaspoon. Where is so, the Zechariah's just put the bicarbonate of soda there. Okay. So, could you measure out one teaspoon? Do you want me to help you do that? Yeah. Uh, one teaspoon, five mil. Yeah, I see shake. Oh. Okay, so see what I'm When I'm shaking it, though, yeah. it's going through the sieve, Getting a big lumps out. You're Got some help, man. Are you right? Mitten. Yeah, making it nice and thin. Right, there we go. Put the last of the flour in. Okay. And you see it's going on the 
worktop, so we need to clean we'll that clean up. Clean the worktop up at the end. Right. We'll try and get most of it in the bowl, though. Because we need mostly all of it. Right, there we go. Put the sieve to the side. Let's put that over there. So you'll see our flour's all done. So we've got one, one teaspoon of bicarbonate soda. Put that in. That's it. Then we need some baking powder. Baking. So Malachi, have you got the baking powder? Um, yes. So we need here. half a teaspoon. So can you pass it to Zeki? All right, I think you might have pushed it for already once. Uh. So we've got a very clever measuring spoon. And depending on which side it is, this side is half a teaspoon. If you push it through the other way, it's one teaspoon. So we want half a teaspoon of baking powder. So put your spoon in there. And see it, shake it off at the edge. There we go. And tip that in the bowl. There we go. And then we need to give that a little mix around. Pass the spoon back to Malachi. Right. So boys, step back a second. Let's get a little, let's get a wooden spoon. I don't need to, I just need to do it this way. Excellent. A little wooden spoon. I don't even need to. Right. Do I'll give it a little stir. Zeki, do you want to give it a little stir? You said you wouldn't touch it. Oh, sorry. I did say I wouldn't touch it. You're right. It just can't help getting involved. I'm not going to get involved in the next bit, though, because it's getting messy. Oh. Right, let Malachi have a little stir. Oh, yeah, I'm really good at stirring. I've learned my stirring skills. Right. Um. That's enough, Malachi. That's a little stir. That's all we needed to do. We'll put that to your side, Zeki. Right, just put that out of the way. Now we need another bowl, Zeki. Could you get the bowl? This bowl. Yep, that's it. Put it in the middle. Now we're going to put in here... Yeah. Sugar first or butter first? What do we reckon? Butter. Butter, butter first. Okay. Have so put it. the butter in the bowl. All of it? Yeah, all of the butter in the bowl. Right. That's it. We'll use that spoon. That'd be good. Ooh. There we go. Butter's in the bowl. And then we're going to put the sugar in. So it's sugar. It. And uh, we're going to have... Oh, right. So before we put the sugar in, where's the spoon? Spoon. This spoon. No, that spoon that you have for the butter. Oh, yeah. So we're going to cream the butter up a little bit first. So we're just going to stir it around to make it a bit soft. So let me have a little go. And I said I wouldn't have a go. But I want to make sure everybody can see what we're doing. And I've got longer arms than you. So if we're just going to soften the butter up. Get it a bit more I creamy. Can you know as well. Okay, you want to go, do you? Yeah. Go on then, Zeki. I'll hold the bowl because it's going to move a bit. I can't reach over there if, if you move back a little okay. bit. Okay, well, go on then, Mally. You hold the bowl for Zeki. You hold okay. the bowl for a second and then you can swap. Right, and I'll tell you what, so keep swap and hold the bowl for Malachi, and then he'll have a little go, and then I'll start putting some sugar in. All right, so I'll put a bit of sugar in, keep mixing. Put a bit in, keep mixing, keep mixing. And our bowls are scratched already. Right. Let, me, let me just say to you while they're mixing this up, yeah. I'm no expert at this. Oh, is no, kind I'm, of... I'm no expert, so I don't really have a clue what I'm doing. I'm just following the recipe, so you can follow the recipe too. Right. If you do, Malachi, you, you hold the bowl. Let Zeki have a go. And you need a pa Zeki, parent. Yeah, get to, someone uh, watching you. Yeah, parent to supervise you. I, I've and been told to put it in the oven. Yeah, but that's all right because I'm here. I'm a parent and an adult. I'll be okay. All right. I've been told that this bit is the most important bit. If you get this right. You get the better tasting cookies. <gasps> so we've got to work hard cheese. on this bit. Cheese. Put some more sugar in. Okay. Mm. Sit. We need the best the better tasting cookies, not the not sweet cookies. Mm. We love cookies. Well, yeah. I like fruit bit. Yeah, and we're not adding anything else to this. We're just making the cookies. Plain uh, but sugar. Right. Yeah, Put some sugar more sugar cookies. in. I think we should let Malachi have a little stir now. Swap over. Zeki, like you hold the bowl for him. I'm holding as well just to get, get yeah, it more sturdy as well. Mm -hmm. right. I'm going to put the last of sugar in. There's quite a lot this time, so you've got to stir all that in. Wow. This is going to take ages. We might be on the next. I want this to be the That's best. That's alright, don't worry about that. We can wash our hands off at the end. Tasty. Right. Do you want me to have a little stir? Yeah. Alright, let me have a little go. See if we can get in. My dad's stronger 
with them both of us, so. So you might need, at points as you're doing this, you might need to get a grown-up to help you. Some of my post-16 students, I'd say to you, just keep going. Just tough it out. Keep going in there. Don't let it being a bit tough be an excuse for you. Get it nice and creamed up. Ow. Sorry, Zicky, was that me? Yeah. The new um, theme we've got going on here. I'm glad you like the new theme. Fun. Mm. So we'll show you hopefully a few more videos this week and of what's going on. Right, look at that. Like do um, like little one, fruit ones. Well, we've got lots of lots of things lined up. Yeah. We're not going to tell them what we're going to do. We don't want to spoil the surprise. Yeah, because yeah. it is so about we fun. Might, and we might surprises. Not. Yeah, right, okay, so we've got our, our creamed butter and sugar. There's an important thing in our butter, right? You could use a variety of different types of butter, but what butter are we using, Zechariah? Dairy-free, because I am dairy-free. Yeah, so Zechariah can't have anything dairy. It makes your tummy go a bit funny, doesn't yeah. it? So we're having to use butter that's, that's dairy-free, but it's just as tasty, and, and I'm looking forward to eating it. And so... All right, so we've got our, we've got our creamed butter and sugar. Now what we need is an egg. So one egg. One egg. Who's going to do the cracking of the egg? Me. Oh. I'm the best at cracking. I've done it before. Excellent. Well done. Worked yeah. it out. Right. In a separate bowl. Crack it into a separate bowl. Okay. All right, Zechariah. While he's cracking that into Whoa. a separate bowl, we want a teaspoon. I'm looking at my ingredients list over here we want a teaspoon of vanilla extract so this is vanilla here. extract vanilla you hold that tight hold it nice and level if you hold it over the bowl then if i spill any where's it going to go in the sugar cookie dough right so here we go one teaspoon oh sorry one tablespoon no one tablespoon that'd be massive right there you go tip that in tip the tip tip the egg in Now we mix. Put that to the side. Now we need to mix it together. Okay, Zeki, I'll hold the bowl for you. And you can have some Good old bunny That's stones. all right. Get it mixed in. And then yeah. we're going to get Malachi to have a mix it. as well. Oh, that smells nice. Does it? It's the <gasps> vanilla extract. Oh, that is the vanilla extract. It smells so good. And I can't wait to taste these. Right, should we let Malachi have a little go? Yeah. Oh, that is very nearly right, mixed. Hold the bowl for him so it doesn't move. That's what we call are teamwork. we going to come um, back after and show them what the finishing result is? Of course we are. Yay! Of course we are. When they've cooled down. What we're going to do is we're going to use a bit of, of video magic. So instead of standing here for the 8 to 10 minutes they're cooking the oven, we'll just be able to click our fingers oh, and they'll yeah. be done. Oh, cool! Cooled and everything. Yeah, that's cool. That's like from the new days. Like That's from the future. Right. Shall I have a little go? We get it finished off this bit because we've got more to do. Yeah, we don't want to waste our time to just mix it. There, you can right, go. let me have a little go. To get all the lumps look, and bumps out. The boys have actually done a really good job, so I don't need to do much. I just have it make it look a bit pretty right. And so just now, get all the lumps and bumps out. Well, right, now we're going to put the flour in. I'll put the flour in. Right, now it says gradually put the flour in. Gradually, that means gradually. Like slowly. So let me have a look in here. Okay. Pizza cutter. No, don't tell everybody what's in our drawer, it's a secret. Okay. Once we've got a red spoon, so yeah, it's a bit Yeah, a secret spool. for our baking So, drawer. who's going to do the stirring? Me! Yeah. No, you're going to do the stirring in the mixture. Okay. Right, so you're going to put a spoonful in there. And Malachi's going to stir it around. So stir it. Keep stirring. Keep stirring, yeah. So put a spoonful nice and close, because we don't want to tip it on the side. And we don't want to tip, tip it on the Tip that in there, hand. stir it around, Mally. Okay, I might get it in my hand, but it's okay. We just right. wash them after. Sit. Right, let's put another spoonful in. Okay, keep. Let me help you, Zeki. Let's bang this bowl that way. Spoonfuls in. Now, put another spoonful in. Uh, Tip. Stir oh, that in, man. Try not to get any come out of this. Yeah, right, watch, 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 watch. Oh, let's get this harder. bit in. Yeah, it's getting way harder as you do it. Yeah, because yeah. well, what's it turning into now? So you're a, dough. a, dough. Mm. a sticky dough. Right. 
Yeah, then we could knead it out. Let's put a bit more in. Oh, no. What do you need this um, wooden spoon for? Right, hold that ticky. Well, we had it, didn't we? We were stirring hold stuff it. together with it. Oh, yeah. No. Hold it. Okay. Can we finish the last job? In a minute. I think we might just have to put our hands in here. <gasps> yeah! <laughs> Can we try? Can I have the first try? Well, your hands are nice and clean, aren't they? Yep, they're nice so, and clean. I'll have the second one. So I'll tell you what. Get your hand in there, Malachi. Oh. Does that feel nice? Yeah. And it, it smells nice. Yeah, it smells so good. All the sugar and yeah. the extra is working together. Right, try not to get it all out of the bowl. Try and keep it in the bowl. This is actually quite relaxing. It's a stress. Yeah, right, thing. rub your hands together, Manny, and let this Sephora have a go. Rub them together so you get as much of the mixture off as possible. I'm getting them just in my hands. Huh? Um, Rub your hands together. So that'll help because it'll dry the mixture. Try not to throw it all over the side, don't. <laughs> you don't want to eat. Yeah, I've done, I've done this before at school and church. This was way hot. It was way easier in school. Right. Manny. And don't eat the dough. Put your hands in that bowl. Yeah. And mix all that flour together with that liquid there. Put <laughs> your hand in there, Zeki, mix it all up. <laughs> I'm just mixing to get it off. Yeah. Right, so once it's all done, we're going to make balls of dough. Yep, yeah, we have our dough. We have our trays, our baking paper. Right, so we've got the mess on the side. So when it's all mixed together, how are we doing? Well, my oh, hands are dirty, guys. Um, oh, you're making it make a funny noise. Can you try and get all that flour in? <laughs> Look at that. Might need a bit more flour. Look at that. That was actually fun mixing. Can I have another go? <laughs> right, have you got that stuff? Because we need to put it together now. So we need to get Malachi's stuff yeah. in there. Get them in your hands, and then what we're going to do... It's making it sticky up. Yeah, it's okay. You can wash them after, can't you? Yeah. Look. Just try and... Just try and... Don't eat it. Um, use you your can't eat your hands. Sugar. You can't eat your hands because we're making it for people. It's not good food hygiene if you eat it while you're cooking it. Nope. Yeah. Right, how's we going? Let's take have a go. You move it. Go up. Go I can't up. move it. Mm. Right. Um, what do I do with this? Okay. Oh, yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Zeki, let's take you put his hands in there quickly and mix it together a bit more. Uh, how do I do Just stand there, just hold your hands over the bowl. There, Zeki, have a little go mixing it. Right. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to get our hands cleaned up. Yes. And then we're going to come back and start to put them in into little bowls. In a so, click. So it will literally be as if I was kicking my fingers. And we'll be back in a minute. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, and welcome back. We've, we've cleaned up. We've poured in some expert help off camera to just prepare our mix a bit better. And it's all been mixed up. We was doing all right, but we're just not expert enough. So make sure your mix is nice and mixed. What we've done is we've now divided it into two separate bowls so the boys can do it each. We've been given our expert instructions on the first couple so we're going to use two teaspoons. Get a nice ball on one teaspoon and then use the second teaspoon to scrape it off. We need to spread them out on our greaseproof paper on our baking tray mm -hmm. and because they will when they're in the oven they will flatten out and they will grow and we don't want them to go into one big blob. Yeah. So they need to be evenly spaced out. And then we need to some big enough space it, to fit the surprise well, in. Look at these ones. These are the expert ones, so don't go too bigger than that. That's okay, that's not the We end. need a space no, to no. put the surprise in. So put them in, so I reckon you get three, three rows of three. Yeah, and we need to have enough to put the surprise in. So if, like us, you've only got one baking tray for the oven at the moment, you could just put your paper on the worktop and then we'll move it to the, the tray later. Mm-hmm. 
Is that okay? No doubt. Uh, we're not experts. <laughs> not experts at all. Right. Spread this down a little bit. We're just little this way, Because they're going to grow, believe it or not, they will grow them. quite a lot. So okay. if you put that there, put another one out here, you might only be able to get two up this That's side. huge. Um, right, you alright? Keep going, Zeki. And I'm like an expert on cookies, but... You're an expert on cookies, are you? I'm like one, but because that one is very neat. Uh, this one is... <coughs> oh, well done, Malachi, that's good. I'm always coughing to your arm. And don't cough near baking stuff. Exactly. Right. While the boys are, are finishing their cookies, okay. I'm going to let you into the secret of what makes them fossils. Oh, yeah. Should right. I bring it out? No, you carry on making okay. the cookies, like what I said. Okay. Right, so... I'm just going to flare them down. We are going to make them very special fossil cookies because they're going to have a dinosaur footprint in. Or we more specifically, more specifically for ours, ours are going to have a dragon footprint in. Because we've got a very special dragon, belongs called to Zechariah. Toothless. He's called Toothless. Here he comes flying in. Now, Toothless is one of Zechariah's toys, yeah. but we have washed his feet. So it's okay because his feet are washed and they'll get a nice pedicure when we've finished. So it's okay. Zechariah, that one looks a little bit smaller than the rest. It'll grow big, won't it? It so. will grow big. It won't grow as big as the bigger ones, though. Let me just slide I'll your just tray over here for a second. Door. What we're going to do with Toothless, and the boys are going to do this, I'm just going to show you this one. We're going to get his foot, and we're going to print it about halfway into the cookie. Yeah. Carefully pull it up. And that resembles <coughs> a dinosaur or dragon foot. Right, Zechariah, so you, you do yours. Zechariah, you're nearly finished. Well done. Only got one more left. Excellent. Now, Should we've got lots more mixture to go. So when we've baked these, and they take about eight to ten minutes in the oven, when they're baked, we're going to bake the rest of them. And so we'll just let the boys finish their footprints, and then we are going to put these in the oven, and then we'll see you back here in about eight to ten minutes when they're cooked, and they're nice and or cool. Or a click. It'd be like a click. It'd be like a click for people watching. For us, it's going to be like twenty minutes. Yeah. Once they cook yeah, and we'll have to like watch some TV so, while we wait or do something else. Or tidy up, wash we'll it tidy up. up. Yeah, wash so it up. So we're going to do the washing up, but you don't need to see us wash up. And we can leave this mixture. We, we can. We're going to do the rest of them while they're cooked. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a great foot. And we might be able to try them. Right, okay, so we'll leave you with Zechariah still doing his footprints, and we'll see you back here in no time at all with fully made cookies. See you in a bit. I'm going to cook back with cookies all done and they've been out to cool so the only thing left for us to do is to taste them but as you look at our cookies before we do it what hasn't worked the, di the dinosaur or dragon footprint. so our foot and some of them came out that on these footprint ones. looks like a t-rex so you can one. see a bit of the footprints mm -hmm. maybe we need to push them deeper but we might have another go another day maybe we'll get the expert chef in with us your mum because she's better at this than I am. And we might push them deeper. Or we might even try a different cookie recipe. Maybe even a shortbread. They might stick out better. Mm. So we've got a couple of cookies where you can sort of see where they are. But the cookies grew massively, didn't they, in the oven? Mm -hmm. yeah. right, we've Massive. got our second what batch. What mine was like a snowman? Yeah, we've got our second batch still in the oven. So there's one thing left for us to do. It's before paper. we say goodbye. Is to taste a cookie. So grab yourself a cookie. Mm. Right, okay. grab yourself a bit. Sit. Oh, a nice crunch. Mmm, they're good. Mmm, they're good cookies. Mm. Why don't you have a go? Mm. Why don't you have a go at home making your own cookies? And we'll see you later. If you are an Aspen 2 student, you'll have my email address. I'd love to see some pictures of what you've done at home. And perhaps we could print your pictures off and share them with everybody else on YouTube. So get baking. And get sending us your pictures of what you're doing. It's bye bye from me. Bye bye from me. And bye bye from me. See you soon.